हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी वी आर डिस्कसिंग द टाइप्स ऑफ ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस फिशन वेर इन वी लर्न बाइनरी फिशन एंड मल्टीपल फिशन ऑल्सो वी लर्न अबाउट फ्रेगमेंटेशन एंड रीजनरेशन इन दिस सेशन let us first talk about another type of asexual reproduction which is budding many organisms have the ability to give rise to new individual organisms from their body parts and that is if the individual is grown up from the small piece of the body itself organisms such as hydra use regenerative cells for reproduction in the process of budding so here the process of reproduction by hydra is known as budding and what do they use they use regenerative cells for process of reproduction how reproduction in is done in hydra let us see in hydra a bird develops as an outgrowth now here in the figure you can see hydra two things are given name one is bird and another is tentacles now bird that is an outgrowth of the body of hydra as you can see what are tentacles they are the body part of hydra which helps for moving or for catching the food now what happens in hydra a bird is developed as an outgrowth look at the first figure there is a small bird in the bottom part of hydra gradually it grows now you may think suddenly how this bird is grown on the body of hydra so there is a reason behind it if there is repeated cell division at one specific site so for example in this picture at the bottom part a bird is grown which means at that part of hydra at that place of hydra there will be multiple cell division repeated cell division and as a result this bird is grown on that particular part if a bird is grown on any other part of hydra then at that part of hydra there will be repeated cell division in short this bird will grow as a result of repeated cell division at particular part or site now what happens this birds gradually develops now if you see in the second figure once the bird grows it gradually looks like individual hydra as it grows further in the third picture we can clearly see that it has grown more and what happens at the end when it is fully matured in the third figure it is clearly seen that it has developed but still it is attached with the parent hydra right now when it will be detached when it will come out when it is fully matured so in the fourth step fourth figure we can see that that small new hydra has detached which means it has come out of that hydra parent hydra and it has become the new individual 
hydra so this is the process of reproduction called budding in hydra again let us revise it there is a bird grown on the parent hydra as a result of repeated cell division this bird gradually develops and becomes tiny individuals once it is fully matured it will be detached from the parent hydra and becomes new independent individual so this is all about budding in hydra now let us talk about next type of asexual reproduction that is vegetative propagation vegetative propagation is a mode of reproduction usually used by the plants okay this is the mode of reproduction method of reproduction used by plants here what is done let us see there are many plants in which parts like the root stem and leaves develop into new plants under appropriate conditions so plants can use such a mode of reproduction this property of vegetative propagation is used in methods such as layering or grafting so in this type of vegetative reproduction plants use two type of methods one is layering and another one is grafting let us quickly have a look what are grafting and layering first let us see what is layering in this type of method what is to be done a plant shoot is down to form roots while still it is attached in the parent plant here in this picture we can clearly see there is a parent plant parent body here it is a plant as we can see there is a shoot of one branch which is kept down in such a way that it becomes root and from that part another new plant is grown okay what is done in layering in this method a plant shoot is kept down to form roots and from that a new individual is grown but at the same time that shoot which which is kept down under the soil that is still attached with the parent plant in the figure we can clearly see it is attached with the parent plant and while attaching it is kept down under the soil and to form roots okay and new individual plant will grow this is layering mostly layering is used for climbing plants now let us see what is the method of grafting grafting is the method in which two plants are joined together to grow as single plant and to give fruits or flowers here in this picture we can see that two plants are attached joined together and when it grows it will give as a single flower or single fruit so here for this plant you can see there is a graft where we can observe two different plants are attached together 
and it will grow as single plant together let us see an example of it here you will be able to see clearly how grafting is done to get single plant on the single plant two different things right so two different parts of the plants are attached together and it grows as a single plant and this method is used to grow fruits it is also used to grow flowers so this is another method which is grafting where two different plants are joined together which grow as a single plant therefore in vegetative propagation this type of methods such as layering and grafting are used to grow many plants like sugarcane roses or grapes for agricultural purposes what is the advantage of using this vegetative propagation so the plants which are raised by vegetative propagation can bear flowers and fruits earlier than those which are produced from seeds so the plants which are grown by this methods will produce the fruits or the flowers earlier than the methods which uses seeds to produce flowers and fruits these type of methods are also make possible the propagation of plants such as banana orange rose and jasmine that have lost the capability to produce seeds which means if the plants have lose the capability of producing seeds so these type of methods can be used to produce the fruits and the flowers another advantage of vegetative propagation is that all plants produced are genetically similar enough to the parent plant to have all its characteristics okay so whether we have used layering or grafting the fruits or the flowers which are produced will be genetically similar enough to their parent plant and they will have all the characteristics as their parents have so this all are the advantages of vegetative propagation first advantage we learned that the plants which are raised by this method can bear fruits and flowers early than the plants produced from seeds it is also possible to grow plants such as banana orange rose and jasmine who have lost the capability of producing seeds also the third advantage we learned that the fruits which are produced will be genetically enough similar enough to the parent plant to have all its characteristics so this is all about vegetative propagation